I'm Ayla Terribillas. I'm General Manager for Nature Earth. I supervise uh, and manage the company's overall operations and also leading the sales and marketing team. Ma'am Zanita is my mother-in-law. <laughs> my mama. <laughs> Zanita Tomase. I'm a working mom or a working grandmother. Our business is M2 Tea Drink. Prior to that, actually, I was a reporter for Philippine Star. And uh, then from there, I became a public relations uh, practitioner. So I was working with uh, public relations agencies and as well as a uh, corporate, corporate uh, client. I left my first job, which is um, in photography as well. I was the sales and operations manager for a retail store, baby photography actually. I decided to quit my job and just um, uh, work for M2. Actually, it was offered to me because ano, after the long break, um, I will come back pa sana dun sa previous job ko. It was a smooth transition. Naging tulay siya para makita ko din yung help needed nung company. So yung mga things that I learned from my previous job, na apply ka siya with M2. Alam niyo ba, no, when we started M2 Malunggay Ice Tea, it was really a drink for me. Uh, when a few years back, actually a decade back, yes. uh, I became very sick and part of the um, parang regimen for me to be better is to actually eat a lot of vegetables and to make sure that I eat a lot of vegetables. Uh, I take malunggay as a regular meal, in part of my regular meal. Technically, malunggay has uh, so much nutrition. Malunggay actually has 47 nutrition. I was trying to find something to eat na kailangan nutritious siya. And during that time, we were uh, creating breads. No? So I said, why don't you just put uh, malunggay in the bread? And to make it more nutritious. And then that's where I started the uh, Malunggay Pandisan. They called me crazy. <laughs> Some of the friends were saying, ah, napaka, ano mo naman, <laughs> parang loka-loka ka yata. Kasi bakit, pati man naman Pandisan, lalagyan mo pa ng Malunggay. But today, when I travel, I see Malunggay Pandisan in almost all uh, bakeries in the Philippines. And I'm very proud, no? I started an industry na nobody thought that it could be an industry, but now it has been an industry. You know, from malunggay powder to capsule to oil. You know, it's something that evolved through the years. Kakasawa na kakain ng gulay, what I did was that ginawa ko siyang tsaa, tea. You know, and uh, at the same time, uh, parang may enjoy ko, di ba? It was my doctor who said, uh, why don't you make it as a business? Because it was really helping me out uh, in my own journey for a better, for better health. And uh, she said, why don't you make it as a business? I said, oh, okay, good idea. First tea M2 is actually more of a ready to drink. Through the years, what we did was to make it a concentrate. So, kung concentrate siya, I wanted to make sure na meron siyang parang uh, flavor. So, I didn't want to have any synthetic flavors, but I wanted a real flavor na natural. And uh, ginger became a fla our flavor, and then at the same time, uh, the okra became our parang pampalapot, so concentrated siya. It's uh, actually between uh, me and my husband, uh, Jojo, who has actually put it together. Uh, and then later, I kind of like looked at it and say, hindi lang para sa akin yan, kung hindi para din sa mga bata, especially na hindi kumakain ng gulay. Nakita na lang ng mga ibang mga mami na pwede pala siyang gamitin as galactable. Exciting kasi hindi ko alam na very effective pala si M2 in terms of uh, galactogog. No? And now it's uh, producing a lot of breast milk uh, for a lot of moms. The big break actually is when Ayla took over the business in terms of marketing and sales. Si mama kasi medyo mas, hindi naman sa maluwag, but she's very on the more on the creative side. Eh. Mika kasi am analytical, tapos yung mga overheads, mga ganyan yung may isip ko. 
Which is very intelligent. Ang daling kausap, uh, and you, you can fully trust her. Kasi uh, yung confidence ko sa kanya, it's very high. When she does something, she actually performs. We're very close and I feel very lucky and blessed. Sobrang lucky ko kasi wala ako nung monster in law stories. Kanyan. So it's the complete opposite. They're very generous. Um, they love my kids and sobrang bait nila. She's a perfect mom and a perfect daughter-in-law. Her ethics for working is very professional. So yeah, she's a good daughter-in-law. She's not only just using M, but she thinks also of other moms. Uh, she really wants to help. Before even the business, it's actually more on how can I reach out to mothers? Um, number one, siguro, is um, understanding the audience and the market. So when we if we found out that our mothers are reaching out to us na M to help them in boosting their breast milk, yun yung naging uh, main goal namin. Uh, the similarity, uh, I do everything with love and care and that's also what we instill to our to our employees. So yun kasi yung core values namin. You do everything with love and care for the glory of the Lord. So walang half-baked. When you do something, do it properly, do it efficiently. Same with sa bahay, like kunyari, when I have to wash the dishes, hugasan ko ng ayos. Kasi pag may natirang mumu sa utensils, then I have to wash it again. So, sayang yung time, sayang yung effort. So, I think yun yung naging uh, similarity within work and at home. Difference naman, I'm I'm very strict at work. So, uh, mga pet peeve ko, dapat it has to be on time when the deadline is like this, you tell me, at saka, ang pinakaayaw natin yung reasons, o, at saka excuses. So, it has to be um, actions agad. So, at home naman, kabalik taran, I'm very malambing, ganyan, playful with the kids. And, um, you, you'd see me cooking, ganyan, and uh, hindi ako masyado mahilig mag-ayos pag nasa bahay. But with at work, syempre, you have to be more presentable at saka makikita nila yung the leader in you. Hindi ko maisip. <laughs> so, parang intertwined yung pagiging business person and home and residence. Parang naka-weave yung uh, who I am with my work and in my family. Um, kung, for example, if I treat uh, our employees, usually it's about um, serving God. When, whatever you're doing, you're serving God. Uh, at the same time, uh, dito sa family, ganun din siya. So whenever I'm with the family, uh, we always uh, serve the Lord. Yeah. My work ethic is actually more on parang 24 hours. Kung kailan ako kailangan, nandun ako. Uh, especially because our business is uh, handled by husband and wife. So, kung anong kailangan uh, pag-usapan, any time of the day, kahit any time of the night, kung kailangan pag-usapan, pinag-uusapan namin. Um, I think in the very first uh, three months, I would highly recommend that uh, the mom should stay at home. Uh, these are very crucial moments wherein you actually do a lot of uh, taking care of the baby and uh, later on you can move from the transition of being a working mom in your office when it needs it and uh, with the pandemic actually very perfect new setting because then you can work at home and then at the same time you can take care of your baby uh, and if it works pretty well for you in the future you can always go back uh, to working in your office or in your business What's important is that when you are in that stage where you have to take care of the baby, you, you are there for the baby. Being a stay-at-home mom alone is hard. So for a working mom like me, um, you can imagine very, very double the, ano, double the load. For the moms out there na gusto magtrabaho, go ahead. Um, pero you need your husband's support. And kung wala man si husband, if you're a single mother, the support of the people around you because ano naman uh, nandun minsan yung mommy guilt but as long as you know how to manage your time and you make sure the kids are growing also with you and with your moral support i think for me it's okay
just believe in yourself. And then another thing is uh, discipline and learn to manage your time. Hindi pwedeng work puro work ka lang. Tapos na set aside mo na yung kids. So it has to be balanced. So it is something na medyo mahirap but you you get the hang of it. Tip number one, uh, make sure na whatever you're doing, uh, your husband uh, is actually uh, very supportive to you. Uh, and the tip number two would be always ask the Lord to help you uh, follow what uh, God is telling you. And most important thing is that the passion. When you have an idea, you go for it uh, and, and you excel uh, and you make time to make sure that you do it perfectly. What's next for M2? Sugar free! <laughs> M2 will be in every home, enriching and giving nutrients to every family member. Next for M2 is that we want to be global. Uh, there are a lot of mothers who are having difficulty in breastfeeding. And so, we aren't just a regular drink. Yes, we are. Uh, but we're very nutritious. And uh, extending that not just to the Philippines, but to the whole world, it's actually the next big thing for M2.